Hello, everyone. Welcome to our presentation for 2021 Menacom Conference. We are three people, me, Wang Le, Yax Lok, and Jean-Pierre Rossi. We are all from France. Today, we are going to present you our work. It is about 2D DOA-based positioning with phase jump corrections and an approximate maximum likelihood estimator. Now, let's start. Our presentation has six sections. In the first section, we show you the general introduction. Thanks to the recent development in antenna design, the direction estimation is more and more precise, which increases the direction by base localization. And the direction of arrival of a signal in 2D schemes is expressed by an angle. In this figure, we can see that the phi i is the DOA of the signal from the mobile device to the eye base station. And the DOA phi i is the horizontal angle measure from the x axis. To avoid confusions, the value of this angle is defined in a two pi long interval. Uh, we assume that xi and yi are the, are the coordinates of the eye base station, x and y are the coordinates of the mobile device. Therefore, we have the true DOA is equal to a time two of y minus yi and x minus xi. Therefore, phi i is from minus pi to pi. In the presence of noise, the estimated, estimated DOA uh, phi i hat equal to the true DOA plus uh, uh, an estimation error and plus a phase jump correction. Where this estimation error ni uh, is uh, zero, zero mean Gaussian distributed. And the phase jump correction chi i equal to one minus one or zero. It depends on the sum of uh, phi i plus ni. Therefore, the estimated DOA is also from minus pi to pi. In the second section, we will show you the least squares algorithm. We have the approximations when ni is close to zero, the sine ni is approximated to zero and cosine ni is approximated to one. We have the sine of phi i is uh, approximated to sine of uh, phi hat i, and the cosine of phi i is approximated to the cosine of phi hat i. Therefore, we link the DOA to the coordinates. Uh, this is the definition of phi i, and this is the equation of consequence. And we have this approximation. In matrix formulation, we, de we define this is the matrix A hat, this is the vector B hat, and this is the vector X. Therefore, uh, in a least squares algorithm, we have uh, A hat multiplied by X is approximated to B hat. Therefore, the approximate, the estimate of X is the value that minimizes this va value. Therefore, X, X hat equal to A hat, is equal to the pseudo inverse of a hat multiple by b hat, where this is the equation of a pseudo inverse of a, a, a matrix A. In the third section, it is about the approximate maximum likelihood estimator. We have the approximation in, in the first order perturbations. When ni is close to zero, we have the sine ni is approximated to ni and cosine ni is approximated to one. Therefore, this is the approximation of psi phi i. And this is the approximation of cosine phi i. Uh, we recall this equation. Therefore, we have the, this approximation. And therefore, we have the approximation of uh, ni with uh, the coordinates and the estimated DOA. In the approximate maximum likelihood estimator, we define we minimize uh, L equal to the sum of all Ni square minus phi I square equal to this uh, value. It is to find uh, the X that minimize uh, this value. We use the Gauss-Newton iterative procedure. This is the equation of Gauss-Newton iterative procedure at the U plus one iteration, where N Vector n is the vector of all the 
DOI estimation errors, and G and X is the is is this uh, is expressed by this equation, and the initial point of the procedure is the result of the least square method in section number two, and the stopping criterion is uh, epsilon one. And in the fourth section, we show you the true maximum likelihood estimator. In vector form, we denote this is the vector phi hat, and this is the vector f in the, with the variable of uh, vector x and vector k, and this is the vector k and this is vector x. We repeat, uh, we repeat the definition of uh, phi i, and the measurement of vector phi hat is Gaussian distributed with the mean vector of f and covariance matrix C. So the probability density function PDF is this uh, equation, where C is the covariance matrix. We uh, our task is to maximize uh, the PDF. It is uh, the equivalent to finding x hat and k hat that uh, minimize this value. We also use the Gauss-Newton iterative procedure again. And this is the equation of Gauss-Newton iterative procedure, where, where G x k is uh, expressed by this equation. And now the initial point of the procedure is the result of the square method in section two of or the approximate uh, maximum likelihood estimator in section number three. And the stopping criterion is uh, epsilon two. In this uh, step, the value of K is very important. We recall the definition of K and the estimation of, uh, of K, uh, it is uh, equivalent to estimate uh, each value of K, K1, K2, and Kn. We have the DC, the uh, the noise, the, the DOA estimation error, Ni. When Ni is small enough, we have Ni is uh, absolute value of Ni is um, smaller than pi over two with the probability almost one. And this is the equation to estimate Ki. We have the solution for maximum likelihood for Ki. Estimate of Ki is, uh, is, is this algorithm. And now we go to the fifth section, simulations and results. Uh, first of all, we define the term root mean square error. Uh, we take the estimated position of the mobile device, and this is the true position of the mobile device. We take the, the difference. We uh, the, then we take the the average value of all the trial, and then we take the root square, the square root. Then we have the term RMSC and the Kramer row. Well, we need to compute the Fisher information matrix and the camera bow is uh, the, the trace of the inverse of the Fisher information matrix. And uh, if, the, if the estimator is unbiased, the RMSC should, uh, should be equal to or larger than the square root of camera bow. And in simulation, we consider an area of uh, 1000 by 1000 meters square and we have a base station around which forms a, a circle. Uh, an interactive procedure does not always converge. So we have three possible outcome of an, an interactive procedure. They are convergence, divergence, and os oscillations. And, and in each uh, scenario, we have, we have the corresponding estimated position of mobile RMSC and number of iterations. Now we compare six uh, algorithms. The first is the one is the least square method, the approximate maximum likelihood with initialization uh, is the least square method. The true maximum likelihood estimator with the K correction and DOI estimation using a two function and the initialization is the least square method. And the true maximum likelihood estimator with K correction, the DOA definition using a time two function and initialization is approximate maximum likelihood and maximum likelihood estimator without K correction 
and assume likelihood estimator with the DOI definition using a time function. We considering the standard deviation of all the DOI estimations is the same and equal to sigma and the stopping criteria epsilon one equal to epsilon two equal to 0 0.01. And this is the comparison of RMC of the six uh, algorithms when DOI measurement were has the standard deviation varies from 0 0.5 degree to four degrees. And uh, this is our proposed uh, uh, positioning algorithm. We see that D has the lowest RMSC and its RMSC is still larger than the square root of kramer bound. And now we compare the number of non-converging procedures and we see that our proposed algorithm is D has the sm smallest uh, non-converging procedure. Therefore, it's, it also has the smallest uh, number of uh, average number of uh, iterations. It reduced considerably, considerably the time delay for the localization process. Now we conclude our work. We, in our work, we use the DOI expression with the attempt to function. We propose an approximate maximum likelihood estimator. In the maximum likelihood estimator, we use the phase jump correction, which have enhancing significantly the location accuracy. And the maximum likelihood estimator with the initialization of 10 by the approximate maximum likelihood estimator reduce considerably the average number of iterations. Thank you for your listening and I'm ready to answer all of your questions. Thank you.